friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White. Today we're going to be stepping away from the Let's Plays and onto a PC build vlog. If you guys remember, I think it was in 2016, I built my last PC and did a vlog on it. You guys loved it and I can't wait to do another one for you. It's definitely time for me to upgrade. I have been so happy with my last PC build. I have had no issues and I'm so excited to upgrade this one. I hope you enjoy this uh interesting journey with me. I don't have a ton of experience with this, so hopefully it goes okay. Take a second before we begin to like the video as I thank a few companies who helped make this possible. Number one being Blue Microphones. Thank you so much for providing me with the Blackout Spark and the Compass Arm. I am so excited to give those a shot to really boost my content. I've been a fan of Blue for a really long time. Their Blue Yeti microphone has done me so well since the very beginning of my content journey and uh, I'm really excited to be working with them. I'd also like to thank NVIDIA for providing this GeForce RTX 2060. Oh, my last card I think was a 970, so this is going to be a huge upgrade for me. I cannot wait. I'd also like to thank Cooler Master. Cooler Master has provided a number of goodies for us here today, including their MH670 brand new gaming headset, a mouse, keyboard, and this beautiful case. It is brand new and they sent it to me. I feel so honored and so excited to share it with you guys. The links for all of these amazing companies that I'm so excited to work with are in the description below. So please do give them a look. And uh, if you're looking to upgrade your PC, you can check them out because they are awesome. And now let's begin. As is keeping with the current fancy trend, we have a see-through side. So stoked about this. I don't know how beautiful it's all gonna look when I'm through with it, but I'm gonna give it my best. And for those of you who enjoy this kind of thing, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Oh, it's got it's got a lot of resistance here. This is this is a little bit more difficult than I envisioned. Is it is it still awesome? You guys so indulgent. <laughs> it's not as awesome as I wanted it to be. So here's the motherboard I've selected. It was the highest rated motherboard on PC Part Picker, and I don't know anything else about it. Look at this beauty. It looks like a like a gem from a video game. How extra is this packaging? This is the i9-9900 from Intel, but uh, I don't really know how to undo it. I haven't leveled up my, my treasure chest unlocking skill enough yet. Ah, there was some tape that I needed to cut. Wasn't that complicated at all, you might say. And to that I say, you might be right, sir or madam. Look how cool this is! I think I'm more excited about the packaging than what's inside. No, I'm not, I'm really excited about what's inside. Well, I cut the tape. Should be easy from here. It should just fall open. There's more tape! <laughs> of course there's more tape! I knew that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the rest of this tape. Uh, from here, it should be so simple. It's childproof packaging. It's also Brianna proof. Clearly. I got it to work! Oh, it opens like a Fabergé egg. Do Fabergé eggs open? I don't really know, but look how beautiful this is. This is going to power all my content in 2020. I could not be more excited. This is the CPU cooler that Cooler Master sent to me. This is the Hyper 212 Black Edition. It's one of their more popular models. It's one of the most highly rated models on PC Part Picker as well. The only thing that's rated a little bit higher is the RGB version of this. And uh, this was rated a little bit more quiet. So I decided to go with this one so that I could have a nice silent streaming rig so I wouldn't pick up any background noise. And now, I believe the next instruction was to firmly grasp it and place it inside the case without getting tangled on absolutely everything. She's doing a terrible job. And now we're just gonna nestle that ever so gently 
right there so that the ports line up with the porthole. See, those are scientific terms. So this little puppy right here is a V1300 Platinum. This here will power just about anything, I assume. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. This was provided to me by Cooler Master and I'm so excited because guess what? Uh, this is way more power than I need. This comes in a beautiful, cool case too. Whoosh. Cooler Master, power supply, power all the things in your life. It's day two, you know what that means. I spent all last night plugging in five million cables according to a guide that made no sense. Luckily, it's followed by one of the easier steps, putting in the RAM. I say that because it is one of the easier steps. However, if you recall, last time I built my PC, I messed this up. The difference is that I put it in slot one and two instead of slots one and three or two and four. I will not be making that mistake a second time. This is one of the only things that will be RGB in my system, but I'm really excited about it anyway. We'll look at it next time. The next step is one that I'm very excited to take. I will be putting in a GeForce 2060 into my computer for premium editing and computer gaming performance and experience. Whoa, hold your applause. Isn't she gorgeous? What I just installed was something I'm very excited about, an internal capture card. So I'm not gonna have a lot of the delays that I was having before with an external capture card. So I am really stoked to give that baby a try on stream. I just opened up my SSD. I went with 500 gigs. I think that'll be enough space. We'll find out. Apparently, there's a super secret ninja hiding spot for this drive on the back of this case. Yonder, instead of inside, it'll be the sort of outside, but still inside. All, apparently, all I need to do is screw in these little itty baby tiny screws and then just kind of like stick it on there like flex tape. We'll see how it goes. Allow me to explain what's happening here. When I was at Micro Center deciding which version of Windows I would buy, he said you can have the disk version or the flash drive version. And he said, you really want the flash drive version. And I said, I'm an independent woman and I can make my own decisions. I'll take the disk drive one. Uh, I regret that because this case doesn't have room for a disk drive. So what I've decided to do is Frankenstein a solution by taking my disk drive from my old case and plugging it in so that I can install Windows and then I will be unplugging it because I don't really need it. It'll be fine, don't worry about it. Frankenstein! Actually, technically he's Frankenstein's monster, so I just thought I'd clarify that. No offense to Frankenstein, the person. That being said, this will be my first experience turning it on and I don't know what's gonna happen, so we're gonna do it together. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. And then, oh, this is already on. I don't know if you can see it, but my motherboard is RGBing already. How exciting. And then, Atari, this is a very tense moment. What am I gonna name her? And in true Brianna fashion, I definitely still screwed up the RAM this time. It was not properly seated and I had to redo it. So let's give her another go and see if I can get the heck into BIOS. Golly, she's beautiful. And the RAM's lighting up this time. So I know it's connected, which it was not doing before. Man, this is gonna be a beautiful little system here. Ooh, the setup is done and can I say what a relief 
It feels so good to have all that work done. It is such a rewarding process to build your setup. It feels so legitimate and professional and makes me feel more creative to have a really fresh new setup with fancy lights that I can adjust. It makes me excited to work again. And it also makes me so excited because I get to make more content, better content. Being able to take you on this journey with me has been super awesome and fun. So I hope you got a few laughs out of it, even if it was at my expense because I forgot how to do the RAM correctly again. I cannot believe I did it again. I said I wasn't anyways. I nailed it! That's the real takeaway here. Thank you so much, so, so much for making this possible to Cooler Master, NVIDIA, and Blue. You guys have become part of my team and I hope I am a good part of yours. Really, really appreciate all your support and for providing me with these upgrades. That's all! Oh! Well, it's not quite all. Don't forget to like the video, even though that doesn't matter anymore. Share with all your friends, that still matters. And subscribe, that doesn't matter anymore. And hit the notification bell, also doesn't matter anymore, for Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. What do we have coming up next? It's a mystery. Stay tuned and check back. I love you guys. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. Blooper reel. It's day two. And my dog is gonna lay right next to me. I love you.